Do you have a Lincoln Penny from the year 2000? Well, if you do, watch this whole video because there are some pennies out there from the year 2000, different types of pennies that you can look for that are extremely valuable. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Let's just check out these awesome pennies from the year 2000 that are worth money. All right, so some of these I've showed in previous videos, but I got them all organized now into just the year 2000. So first up is an error that could uh, be easily seen in your pocket change or in circulation. If someone comes across this, they're definitely gonna, you know, take it out of circulation. So they're gonna be tough to find. However, this is a 2000 penny that was struck on a 2000 Virginia State quarter. So pretty awesome. I absolutely love this. I'm looking to find a double denomination so bad. I cannot wait until I find one. It is graded by PCGS at a Mint State 66. And because of the error, this coin sold for over $15,000. That's right, $15,000. Now if we look at another 2000 Lincoln penny, this penny here has been double struck and we got a broad strike going on as well. Now this penny here sold on eBay for over $180. Pretty awesome, you can see the year 2000 there on there twice, as well as the phrase, in God we trust. So very, very awesome error coin, 180 US dollars. I've done a whole video on this next penny. This is the Cheerios penny. Now, um, the penny isn't really too uh, crazy valuable, but here's an example of one. And here we can see this penny is graded at a Mint State 67 Cheerios cent. So very cool, this penny here does have that pretty high grade. The coin grading scale only goes up to 70, this is at a 67, and this Cheerios one cent coin sold for over $350. Next up, now this penny here does not have any types of errors. It is a 2000D Denver Minted Lincoln Penny. It's graded at a Mint State 68. So that is what's gonna give it all of its value. A lot of 2,000 pennies you would find in your pocket change are only gonna be worth a penny. However, this one has an extremely high grade. So this penny here, because of that, sold for over $115. Moving right along to another double denomination. Like I said, these are some of my favorite types of coins. This one here is not struck on a quarter. It is actually struck on a dime, a 10 cent Roosevelt dime. So we see the reverse design of the Roosevelt dime coming through there on Lincoln's face and we also see the design of Roosevelt's head there on the Lincoln Memorial. So that is pretty cool. Cannot wait to find one of these. Seriously, this is like the top of the coin or top error coin that I want to find on my list in a pocket change or in circulation or from a coin roll from the bank. Uh, this is what I want to find. Now this 2000 penny and dime sold for over $4,600. Next up is another 2000 Lincoln Penny. Now this one here on the reverse, you can see that there's not much going on here. However, on the front, you can see the error taking place. Now this penny here sold on eBay for over $420. Next up, we got a mated pair of pennies here from the year 2000. They're pretty cool. Uh, could not imagine finding this in the pocket change. Wow, that would be pretty incredible. But these did sell on eBay. Um, over $170 they sold for. Those are bids, five bids that it was at, but I did not see it when it finished. So it did sell for over, I would imagine, close to $200 or a little over $200. So pretty awesome error coin. Uh, if you ever find anything like this, you definitely wanna uh, get it graded for sure. Next up is a 2000 Lincoln Penny, no mint mark. Now this one does not have any types of errors. It's just graded at a high grade at a Mint State 68. And that's why this Lincoln Penny sold for over $100. Next up is another 2000 penny that was struck on a quarter. So this is pretty cool. This was struck on a New Hampshire state quarter. And this one is actually centered up. We got the penny struck right there in the center of the quarter. And you see that there on the reverse as well. So that is pretty awesome. I love this, man. I, I just can't get over this. I love these coins. This error coin sold for over $9,000. $9,000. Now also for the 2000S Proof Penny. This coin here is graded at a Proof 
70. So it has a perfect grade. This coin is perfect. It's uh, got no flaws at all. It's graded at a perfect grade. And that's why this coin sold for over $345. Now, if you're not familiar with proof coins, type in on YouTube, Couch Collectibles Proof Coins. I explain it in one of my videos, the difference between proof coins and regular business strike coins. Business strike coins are typically the coins that you're gonna get back and change from the store or whatever. Uh, proof coins are separate from that. So. Go watch that video and uh, I explain it in that video. Now also for the 2000 Lincoln Penny, you also want to look for a wide AM. So you want to get a USB coin microscope. I have those available on couchcollectibles.com. Go get you a USB coin microscope guys. Look for this wide AM on the 2000 specifically. Now there's other dates you want to look for wide AM and close AM and I've done videos on that so be sure to go check out my 1992 video and uh, 1998 penny video and all those and I discuss more wide AM and close AMs. Now this 2000 you want to look for the wide AM. So here's the difference between a wide AM and a close AM. On a close AM you can see that the A and M are pretty much touching. The wide AM, they are clearly separated. So that is the difference between a wide AM and a close AM. If you're not familiar with that, um, here's an example of a penny that has that wide AM. Now this coin here is graded at a mint state 67. And because of the wide AM, because of the high grade, this penny sold for over $180. Now you can actually look for these coins in your pocket change and I guarantee you after you look for enough 2,000 white AMs, I would imagine you could eventually find one. They're not like the rarest coin to find, but I think you can definitely find those in your pocket change. However, it all does come down to condition as well. So if you have a white AM that's in really poor condition, it's not going to sell for $180. This coin sold for $180 because of that white AM plus the grade, the high grade, which means that it's a very good condition coin. Now also here's another Cheerios penny. Now this one sold on eBay for over $3,800. Don't believe me, go on eBay and look up sold listings and check it out. Now also for the 2000 Lincoln penny error coin, this coin has been struck off center. You can look for off center errors on just about any type of coin. There's tons of different off center errors out there. Some more extreme than the others, some 5% off center, some way off center. This one's pretty off center here. So always be on the lookout for those error pennies in your pocket change. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe right in the middle, press in the middle, subscribe, check out the videos to the left of me, and until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.